I can't believe you talked me into this. What do you mean? We're walking around in the middle of a field in the middle of winter. I know. With camels. And we're dressed as wise men. Exactly. Dad, it's... Uh, Caspar. Caspar, it's freezing out here. So what's your point? Don't you think we're overdoing it a bit? I mean, I just got these new shoes Balthazar, and... this Balthazar. is... Balthazar? Yeah, that's your new name, Balthazar. Oh, brother. This is a special episode where I thought it would be fun if we went out and actually looked for the star. So let's do the best to get into it and enjoy this experience. Got it? <sighs> got it. Hey, wait, weren't there three wise men? Where's yeah. our third guy? Oh, oh, here he comes now. Hey, guys, wait for me! Cameron, with a sombrero? Yeah, you like it? Sorry I'm late, I had to use the bathroom. What the? Hey, even the Magi takes potty breaks. Oh, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant, Sadie. Hello. And today's special guest, Cameron. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about the Christmas star. The Christmas star. Oh, you mean the story about the three wise men who followed the star to see baby Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothing and lying in a manger? Yeah, that's the story. Never heard of it. Oh, brother. Well, I think we're all familiar with the story, but I thought today it would be fun if we looked at three myths about the story. Myths? What's a myth? Well, a myth is a common belief about a statement or a story that may or may not be true. For example, it's a myth that all bats are blind, or that we only use 10% of our brain, or that it takes seven years for bubblegum to digest if you accidentally swallow it. I know the wise men chewed bubblegum. Well, they didn't. That's just an example. Oh. So what are the three myths about the Christmas story? The first myth is that there may have actually been more than three wise men. You're joking, right? No, we just don't know for sure. We always assume that there were three because they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. There may have been less, there may have been more. We just don't know. Interesting. The second myth is that the wise men may not have actually come on Christmas Eve. What are you talking about? Every manger scene has the three wise men. Well, that's true, but the wise men, according to the Bible, actually came to the house, not the manger. So more than likely, they actually came after Christmas Eve. Interesting. So what's the third myth? The third myth is that the wise men may not have actually followed the star. What? Isn't that what our lesson is about? The star? Well, let's take a look at the day's Bible verse and find out. It comes from Matthew 2, verses 1 and 2, where it says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. So you see, Matthew never said they followed the star. It just says they saw the star. But they might have followed it. They might have. It just doesn't say. All we know for sure is that the star pointed towards Jesus, which is the most important part. Jesus is the hope of the world, and the star is a symbol of that hope. No wonder we put it on top of the Christmas tree. Exactly. Let me demonstrate this for you with a couple of really cool object lessons about stars. And all we're going to need is an apple, a knife, four toothpicks, an eyedropper, and some water. Let's start with the apple and the knife. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but it also contains a symbol of eternal life. Watch what happens when we cut it open sideways. Now, what do you see? Cool! It looks like a star! I never noticed that before. Pretty amazing. And it's inside every apple. And now, let's take a look at the second object lesson. It involves toothpicks. Simply bend them in half without breaking them, like this. Then set them next to each other, like this. Then take your eyedropper with water 
and put a drop or two in the middle and watch what happens. It turned into a star! Exactly! Everything in life, including toothpicks, can lead us back to the one true hope of the world, Jesus. Who'd have ever thought life's truths could be so simple? No wonder they call them wise men. Exactly. The Christmas star is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that the Christmas story has a few myths that may or may not be true. But the one thing I know to be true is that Jesus is the hope of the world. Exactly. And the Christmas star is a symbol of that hope that's designed to lead people to Jesus. Very good. Now, since this lesson is over and we already know Jesus, can we turn around and go home? It's freezing. I don't want to get my new shoes dirty. Oh, Sadie, sometimes I think you worry too much. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful out here. The only way you could ever get your shoes dirty out here is if you accidentally stepped in. Whatever you say, Caspar. <laughs> we'll see you around. Ha 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 ha!